In this tutorial, we will create this. Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we will create this amazing particle logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects using third party plugin called Drop Code Particular. Ok so let's get started. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Ok so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition by clicking here and rename it to logo animation and I am going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok. Now import our logo. You can use text as well. Now select this logo and place it into this timeline then press S on your keyboard and make it a little bit smaller now select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select move all attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok now import our project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below so please check this out Ok now select this mat one layer then place it into this timeline. Now select this logo layer and then change the layer track mat to alpha mat. Now select this two layer then right click and then choose pre-compose and uh, select mobile attributes and rename it to emitter. then click on ok now make this layer 3d by clicking here and turn off visibility of this layer then right click new and click on solid and rename it to particular then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for particular. This is a third party plugin from Red Giant. You can download this plugin from link in the description box below. Ok now search particular. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then go to emitter and particle per second set it 5 people 0 double 0. Then emitter type set it layer and velocity set it 25. Then go to layer emitter and layer set it our emitter layer. And then uh, layer sampling set it particle birth time. Ok now go to particle then live set it 1.2 second and um, feather set it 0 size set it maybe 15 and randomness set it 50 then click on this size over life and then click on this preset and choose third preset. Then go to shading and then shadow left from main set it on. Perfect. Now go to project window and then select our logo comp and then place it into this timeline. And then select this mat to layer and place it into this timeline. Then simply change the logo track mat to alpha inverted mat.
Now select these two layer and move it a little bit forward. Okay, let's draw MPB with. Looks good to me. Okay, now create a new adjustment layer. So right click new, then click on adjustment layer. Then select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for glow. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then change the glow radius to maybe 600. Perfect. Okay, now go to project window and then create a new composition by clicking here. And then rename it to main. Then click on OK. Then go to our project window and select our low animation comp. Then place it into this timeline. Now select this layer. Then press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer. Then select this um, second layer. Then right click. Then go to transform and then flip. Click on flip vertical. Then drag it a little bit down. Something like this. Okay, now create a new adjustment layer. So right click new, then click on adjustment layer, then place it between these two layer. Then uh, go to project window and select our floor layer and place it anywhere in this timeline. Then turn off visibility of this layer. Then select this uh, adjustment layer, then go to effect and preset window and search for compound blur. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then blur layer set it uh, floor and increase the maximum blur. Looks good to me. Okay, now select this two uh, logo animation layer and make it 3D. Okay, let's create a new adjustment layer. So right click new then click on adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for curves then select this effect and apply onto this layer and then change the curve curve to something like this then again go to effect and preset window and search for noise then select this effect and apply onto this layer and amount of noise set it 5 then again search for sharpen then select this effect and apply onto this layer and sharpen amount set it 20 okay now go to project window and then select our smoke layer then place it into this timeline then select this layer and then change the layer mode to screen. Then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool. Then double click on it. Then press V on your keyboard and then change the max path to something like this. Then Press F on your keyboard and increase the max feather. Perfect. Okay, now create a new camera. So right click new, then click on camera, then click on OK. And make this layer also 3D by clicking here. Okay, now select this camera layer, then go to beginning of this animation, then press AA on your keyboard, then set a keyframe on zoom, then go to end of this animation and increase the zoom amount a little bit. Perfect. Let's run view it.
our animation is complete thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day